to like bring you down to earth for a sec. There is no way you're getting tickets for that show, but I love your enthusiasm. Focus, 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 focus. These are things girls do but will never admit to. Before we get into this, I apologize sincerely. One, for exposing the girls, and two, because guys, you'll probably never be able to look at a female the same again. Number one, the real reason girls take so long in the shower. Maintenance is no joke. It's not just the pubic region, armpits and legs. It's also toes, upper lips, sideburns, stomach and nipples. Yeah, nipples. They're like grey hairs, they creep up on you out of nowhere. And they're so long, for no reason. It's either that or she's discovered the high pressure setting on the shower head, if you know what I mean. Number two, big spoon anxiety. Women have adapted and evolved to be able to not fart around the guy that they like. Well, throughout the day. The second it gets to night time, her guard's down, she's relaxed. She's little spoon, your big spoon. Anxiety, through the roof. I don't think you understand this skill required to be able to fart unnoticed when you are skin on skin with another human being. You might think she's comfortable and ready to fall asleep, but little did you know she's probably actually calculating the success rate of the manoeuvre she's about to pull. And even with the odds not in her favour, instead of just turning over, she'll probably do it anyway. And number three, Oliver Twist. I hope you're hungry for more because this one's a fucking treat. Every single girl at some point in their life has waited way too long to whip out the hedge cutters and chop down that bush and has then subconsciously found themselves twisting their pubes like little dreadlocks. And on that note, Happy New Year. It's not too late to get her a razor. Mm, I gotta see. Uh, just say no, just say no. No, I gotta see. Now the give a fuck. All right, genius. I give you permission to make our drill ship fast. I'm not touching that thing. I'll get neurotypical cooties. Ah! Oh, what? What the hell? What's wrong with you? Sex! What? Sex! Ah! Don't. Don't say that. I know that violence is not the answer, but... Nightmares in my head, I fear We said we're gonna be here 1.30, it's 1.32, why is she late? I don't know, I'll message her Did her parents not raise her to be on time? Is that her? No, it was my phone bill That's it What are you doing? What? Maybe she doesn't know we're here. We've only been waiting a minute. I do not have time to be an Uber driver for you and your Hi, stupid... sorry, I'm oh, late. Hi, Sarah. How's your mom? Is she good? <laughs> These are things only girls will understand. If you're a girl, prepare to watch the most relatable video you've ever seen. Number one, unless it's that one person, you are the world's worst texter. Not because you mean to be rude, but because you read the text message on the notification bar and then completely forget to respond. Number two is the Ariana Grande move. When they're sleeping, girls will be switching up positions whether they realise it or not. And for some reason, our top pick is the one where we look like we're ready to shake ass at any given moment. It's a variation of the side lay, kind of where your legs are doing that. But why is it the only way that's comfortable to sleep? I want answers. Number three, I've named the electromagnetic pull also known as the world's worst shooting pain up the nether regions of your ass. Period poops are no joke. One time, I thought I was knock knock knocking on death's door and had to call 111. So boys, if you're still watching, next time you know a girl is on a period, just be nice, okay? Maybe even get her some food, because this bitch definitely can't afford to. Bestie has a job. Bestie also spends all of her money on food. So we can all thank Uber Eats and Deliveroo for putting her in her overdraft.
If I just described you, you know you have to hit that follow button because we are about to become besties. I am so old. I haven't achieved anything. I feel like everyone else has achieved something. They're out doing things all the time and I just stay at home. Which is a choice, yeah, because I don't want to go outside because I'm an easy target. Also, I have no friends. Yeah, but I don't like her. And, and she definitely doesn't like me. I mean, what had you done at my age? Yeah, you'd had two kids. But, but I don't want that for me right now. In fact, I don't think anybody should be having kids just for environmental reasons. Obviously, I'm very grateful that you decided to have me. I feel like I don't read enough. I think I read maybe five, no, that's a lie, two. I read two books this year. I really want to give back, but I also don't know how because there's a lot of charities that you just can't really trust. And I would really like to move out from living here, but I also feel like right now it would put more of a burden on you if I did. Also, in a lot of communities, children don't move out until they're getting married. But if you feel like I should be contributing towards the bills, then I'm, I'm happy to do that, yeah. I want to see your blind reactions as to whether something is a red flag in a girl or not. Let's go. Is it a red flag if she wants to move to or go on vacay in Dubai? Is it a red flag if her snap score is over 200,000? Is it a red flag if she's into zodiac signs? Is it a red flag if she believes in manifesting? Is it a red flag if she's big on social media? Is it a red flag if she has a boy best friend? Or failing that friends that are guys? Is it a red flag if she posts quotes to her Instagram story? And what about bikini photos? Is it a red flag if her body count is higher than five? Is it a red flag if she vapes? Is it a red flag if her bedroom is messy? And lastly, what if you are her only friend? Do you at this and let me know because I want answers. It's the perfect time to reinvent yourself. How you're going to do this is you're going to sit down in a quiet space with some light music and write down everything that your best self would have. You know, hair color, habits, routines, style, just everything. Write it all out, okay? And then what you're going to do at the bottom is you're going to write down, I kill off my old self to welcome my new self, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to start embodying this new self right away. You know, start doing these habits, start changing your routines. And then you'll notice you will start to attract all these new things in your life because you tr attract who you are, not what you want. So, you know, you attract what you become. So you have to become this version to then start attracting all these things, okay? Let's talk about four boundaries everybody should have in a new relationship. And some people might disagree with these, but I feel like these are still really important. The first one is no name calling during arguments. No name calling at all, to be honest. Two, no stonewalling. This means no hanging up the phone during an argument, no silent treatment, none of that. Three, don't use the relationship as a weapon. Meaning in the heat of an argument or when something doesn't go your way, don't threaten to break up with the other person. And number four, and my personal favorite, show respect for your partner's perspectives, feelings, and beliefs, even if they're not your own. Sign she's into you, part two. Girls, don't be shy. Confirm or deny in the comments, please, because the boys are going to lose faith in me. And lads, read the comments, screenshot, and save. Number one, if a girl is into you, best believe she is going to copy and paste little things that you say. And it will annoy the hell out of her, but it will find its way into her vocabulary. So if she starts sounding like a mini you, she likes you. Number two is a massive teller that she likes you. Because it's rare that girls will optionally pay for shit. So if you guys are out and she says, oh, don't worry, this one's on me. Bro, I will personally slap you around the face if you don't ask her out. Number three, if you talk on Snapchat and she saves your snaps in chat, you do realise it so she can go back and reread the messages, right? Bro, this girl is practically simping for you in her spare time, but probably while you're asleep so you don't see a little bit emoji pop up. So now you can see why it's vital that when you say you're going to bed, you actually go to bed. On a completely separate side note, does this hoodie make me look like I'm wearing a samurai hat? My boyfriend says no, but I disagree entirely. So please help me settle the debate. And you may as well follow me while you're here too. Thank you. Remember, I'll always love you. Hmm. Mm, no, 
Um, ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. You write this down. You get to heaven and you don't find me there. You have gone to hell. He's a good man, Savannah. A good man. Then the Lord said to me, call his name Mahesh. Mahesh. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Angela.